My granddaughter Brinley went from a sweet, loving little girl to an out of control runaway who acts like a criminal. I'm very worried about you. You don't realize the things that you do aren't good. The sneaking out and the marijuana. I took health class. I know what it does. And you're a terrible mom. Brinley is supposed to be on Zoloft for depression, but Cassie allows her not to take it. I don't feel like my granddaughter's behavior is gonna get any better until her parents get their act together. Jonah's behavior and addiction has affected you more than even you're letting on. I've grown up watching Jonah drink. My mom smokes. Just kind of reflected on me. My daughter Cassie can rage and be narcissistic. If my mom didn't scream at me, she didn't pull me by my hair, I probably would get better. I know Cassie loves Brinley. She just doesn't show it. She does not believe that you love her. And I feel that she lays it on thick with you so that you're feeling bad for her. History is repeating itself. Cassie and I don't get along. And now Brinley and Cassie don't get along. Well, Sandy, I'm glad you're here. Thank you. You raised her. Did you make mistakes? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You say you two don't get along? I think we try, but we just don't. Anytime they fight, I'm hearing something from her in my ear, something from her in my ear. I try so hard not to do that. What do you think's going on that your daughter is making the decision to have not one, but two pregnancies with Jonah. And Jonah is making the decision to have not one, but two pregnancies with Cassie, knowing that drugs and alcohol are dominating the situation. That's why I wrote. D did y'all think about that? Did you think about it? Did you think about the fact that, okay, I'm, I'm married here and I'm in love with a man that is clearly impaired. He's an addict and an alcoholic, and I'm gonna get pregnant with him. I did not plan the last one, just so we're clear that when we, when he went to rehab. You, you know how this works, right? <laughs> when he went. We he, mean you didn't plan it. We went to, well, cause I mean, I wasn't on birth control for years and years and we just, we either abstain or we're safe, whatever. And then when he went to rehab, we did actually talk about wanting another baby when he was clean. And he stayed clean for three months, you know. I mean, we didn't know that he was gonna relapse three months later. I'm saying we weren't, we wanted one. We just, we wanted to have another one. It never happened. We went to the doctors and stuff and we and they told us that it probably wasn't gonna happen. And so once I once in the end of 2019, we started talking and said, okay, let's start figuring out um, permanent solutions and to not get pregnant, you know. And and then so we abstained. Then he relapsed. I didn't want to have a baby. And um, he had left the home again. I made him leave the home again at that time. And he was gone. And then is, is he, there a point to this story? When he went to go, when he was going to rehab, and this one time after abstaining forever, and then it happened. Doctors told us it wasn't going to happen. Everything like it, and it just happened. That's another reason I was believing fate. And I just think I don't. I felt like it was we were supposed to be together, and that I just keep hoping that it, it's going to change, that he is going to be sober, and that's why that it, all these things keep happening, and it's like, okay, well, here's twins. You guys aren't supposed to get divorced. Here's two more babies. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.